time and also links to a few things that we discuss here today. So I am Susan De La Husse. I'm the Senior Career and Professional Development Advisor at SOPA. My background is in recruiting. So I worked in big law firms in New York City, hiring attorneys, and also here in New Orleans at a big tech company doing the hiring there. And um, so we'll talk about networking. There are tons of great networking opportunities here in New Orleans while you're at Tulane. Even if you don't think you're going to stay in New Orleans once you graduate, you can always make connections here and you never know who knows someone who lives in another city, right? So I lived in New York City and let's say you want to go back to the city. I might have a friend there who could connect you to a potential job opportunity in the future. So you never know who you're going to meet, which is exciting. And this presentation is about networking. And I really want to focus on how wonderful it is that we all have the opportunity now, I think because of COVID, networking online got really strong during the pandemic. LinkedIn has made a lot of great upgrades and they are listening to their customers. So they're constantly updating the website based on users' feedback. And I've I've seen it, I've seen it happen. It's constantly evolving and changing. And I hope that you all will take the opportunity to utilize LinkedIn as a networking tool. It's great if you are attending events in person as well. So we have the opportunity to network online and now we have the opportunity to go out and meet people in person. When you do go to an event, a great thing if you have LinkedIn is that you don't have to have a business card these days. And I'll try and show you on my phone. I'm not sure if it will be able to come up on the screen, but hopefully you can you can follow along. If you have LinkedIn and you open the app, the easiest way to share, to connect with someone at a networking event is if you open the LinkedIn app and you just tap your finger in the search bar, which is up at the top, immediately on the far right, you'll see something that looks like a little QR code in the search bar. You tap on the QR code and a QR code comes up. And if the person that you're networking with just opens their camera, they can connect with you through that QR code, it takes two seconds, and it's a great way to not have to make business cards, carry around business cards these days. If you are not on LinkedIn, I will show you. There is another website that I enjoy. It's called blink.me, B-L-I-N-Q.me, and it's also an app. This is where you can create a digital business card. You can have up to two bus a work business card, a personal one. This website's free. And it's the same type of thing. You have the app on your phone. You meet someone at a networking event. They can scan your QR code and you all are connected. Both are great and an easy way to connect with people when you're at an event. And if someone hasn't heard of Blink, you can teach them something, which is a great way to connect with people as if they learn something from you. The importance of networking, if you haven't started doing it, you could start today. And by today, meaning setting up a LinkedIn account or building up your LinkedIn account. And that would mean connecting with people, connecting with me, connecting with professors. I will uh, go ahead and share in the chat. I'll send you all a link if you are on LinkedIn and if you want to connect with me, please do so. I'm happy to connect with all of you. And we'll talk a little bit about 
um, networking. There are so many opportunities that you can find out about if you're on LinkedIn. If you're not, I'll show you other ways to find out about local events. And so uh, networking opens opportunities. It opens doors. You can start collaborating with people, building a support system, and you know visibility in person is so powerful. And I'll give you all some examples of the power of repetition and being in the same room with people numerous times. Um, and on LinkedIn, there are many groups that you can join. If you're in New Orleans, there are opportunities to network with organizations like Idea Village, Startup NOLA, Agile. Um, there's marketing organizations, and I'll show you all examples. I think I just reposted. Um, I saw this today, which is an event in New Orleans that's coming up. It's sponsored by Startup NOLA. So you can follow Startup NOLA on LinkedIn, see who's speaking at an upcoming event. It's a free event. They're highlighting, you know, things that you can learn about in New Orleans and also complimentary food and drinks. Networking is the point, but you'll also learn something. So I love an educational event where you get to hear a speaker talk. You can do a little bit of research about the person who is speaking at the event. If you are attending this event, if this is something that's in, of interest to you, I highly recommend whoever is speaking at the event for you to do a little bit of online research about this person. And maybe you can find out a connection piece online about this person so that when the presentation's over, you can go introduce yourself and say, oh, I see you're from Lafayette and I'm from Lafayette too, and or anything. Um, you can find out a lot about someone who's speaking on their LinkedIn page or doing a quick Google search. Many things can come up and nine times out of 10, you'll be able to find something that you can connect with someone on and have a great conversation with them. When I interviewed at Tulane, I knew I was going to be meeting the Dean of SOPA. I did a little bit of research on her online and found out that she liked to host dinner parties at her house. So I mentioned that in the interview and her eyes lit up and I said, that's so nice that you invite students to your home and cook for them. And, and the interview went in a different direction. So people appreciate when you do a little bit of research on them and also take the time to introduce yourself. I recently attended the Women Making Waves conference at Tulane, which is open for students to attend. I think it's, it's a nominal fee to attend. It's a one-day event in the spring and Tulane alumni come speak about what they're currently doing, what um, what their work is, what their challenges are, what their advice is. And one of the students, a Tulane student who I had met at a recent student org meeting where I had spoken, when we checked in for the conference, we all received a little notebook with a pen. And she wrote down everyone that she saw speak and then introduced herself to them after they spoke, asked them for their email address. And her goal was to follow up with all of them and thank them for being there, thank them um, for their presentations and commenting on what they spoke about. And that really goes a long way. These women were flying in to New Orleans from all over the country. They were leaving their jobs for the day, their families for the day to come here to to speak and give back to the Tulane community. And I'm certain that everyone she reached out to was touched by the fact that she was acknowledging that 
they were giving their time and that it was appreciated. So there's things that you can do once you, if you meet someone at an event, you can connect with them on LinkedIn, send them a note and remind them where you met them and start a dialogue with them. If I attended this event and met this person, as you all know, or maybe, <laughs> maybe you do, maybe you don't, when you ask someone to connect on LinkedIn, you can add a note, which will start a messaging dialogue. And you only have 300 characters. So it's really short, just an introduction, but it's always nice to introduce yourself and remind the person where you met. So you could say, it was a pleasure meeting you at the Startup NOLA event last night. I really enjoyed what you spoke about on this topic. I hope that you're willing to connect and keep in touch, send. And it's just as simple as that. I think it's nice to send a note when you do connect with someone, just to remind them who you are. If you recently met with them in person, we're all busy. And so it, it's nice. Sometimes our photos don't look exactly look like what we look in, like in person. It's a great reminder. And it also starts a message chat with that person in LinkedIn. And they'll be reminded if you do message in the future of how you met, because they can scroll down and see the conversation. So networking strategies. So we have online networking, which is LinkedIn. You can attend events and conferences, which I was just talking about Women Making Waves conference at Tulane, which was amazing. There are student organizations that you can join, which host events where often they have speakers come to events who are either Tulane alumni or representatives from people in the industry that the student organization is based around. You can look for mentorship programs either within Tulane or um, you can try to connect with someone who works at Tulane. It could be a professor, it could be me, it could be one of your parents' friends. Anyone who you feel like could possibly be a connection Another uh, opportunity that some people, I don't feel like they take advantage of as often as they should is maybe find someone online on LinkedIn or a Tulane alumni. And if they're in New Orleans, you can reach out to them. And if they're in an industry that you're studying and interested in, you could ask if you can shadow them for a day at work. And some people are open to it. And it's just a really nice way to meet someone, spend the day with them, see what it's like to work in their office and make some connections there. It's, you're not asking them for a job. You're just asking to see what they do every day, letting them know that you're interested in what they do. And some people will appreciate that. And a lot of people are getting Every day at work, they're not getting patted on the back and being told, oh, you're doing a great job or your job's so interesting. So they like to hear that. And a lot of people do like to hear from students and are impressed when students are confident enough to reach out to them and ask for things. And they're, they're not looking for extra work, but they are looking for a bit of camaraderie. And a lot of people like to share their knowledge if they've been in an industry for a certain amount of time and they're looking to, to give back to the community, but they just haven't figured out a way to do it. Um, you know, reciprocity, offer your skills. So that's where if you do shadow with someone, you could say, I am looking for an internship for this summer. And I think my skill sets fits with this organization. Is there a way that you think that I could speak to someone in HR here or um, leave you with my resume and 
you all can think about possibly hosting me for a few weeks this summer and I can, you know, work in X department here. So there's definitely ways to get into offices and a, a, a great route is connecting with someone at Tulane. And what LinkedIn is great for is finding, you can, you can go two routes of how to connect with people. And I'm going to use a very, um, I'm just going to use Amazon as an example. If you go to Tulane University's page, you're going to get a lot of people. You can go to SOPA's page. You can, there's of course different areas in Tulane that you can deep dive into. If you click on the alumni tab, you'll see there's over 76,000 people on, on LinkedIn with Tulane University listed in their profile. And you'll want to say, let's say you want to connect with someone in New Orleans just to see what their everyday life is like at their job. And you're, you're studying media and communication. Now, you don't have to pick from here. You can also do a search as well. You could even search a specific company. Um, what are they skilled at? So you can look and see if there are any places where you're interested in working that come up. Or you can do a clear and let's just take Amazon and see if there's anyone in New Orleans who has Tulane and Amazon in their profile. And, you know, this guy works at AWS. So maybe you want to reach out to him there you can scroll down you can see if you have mutual connections with these people what their job is and it's such a quick search and it's so easy and you could reach out to multiple people and ask them you know tell me what your job's like do you have 10 minutes to zoom with me to talk i see you went to tulane i went to tulane too i'd be happy to treat you to a coffee it might be the best $5 investment that you ever, you ever make. So LinkedIn, and you can, you can do it the opposite way. If you want to work for Amazon or Amazon Web Services, I'm just using a random example. Instead of going to Tulane and clicking on the alumni tab, you can go to Amazon and cl click on the people tab and find people with Tulane in their program, in their profile and connect with someone this way. This one, this woman might be a great person to follow if you're interested in working at AWS. She's a recruiter and she might post jobs on LinkedIn. And you can go check and see if it looks like she just started there three months ago, but you can see if she's posted any positions and if that's something that she typically does, then you can always follow someone and not connect. And then if she starts posting jobs, those will come up in your feed, which is really helpful. I follow a lot of recruiters I see tons of jobs posted on LinkedIn constantly. I try to repost or like things. So you all see those things. I also try to repost um, network opportunities, networking opportunities here in New Orleans. Now, if you aren't on LinkedIn, here are additional ways you can also use this if you are if you are on LinkedIn, but Eventbrite and Meetup, they they're great. You can find out about 
a lot of free events that are taking place in New Orleans. I clicked on business events in New Orleans. Of course, you can do a lot of different filters. You can deep dive into certain business categories. And I saw something, I saw this, which is I also saw on LinkedIn. But if you're in marketing, this Salon 22 is a newer uh, networking organization for women here in New Orleans. They're hosting a marketing mixer and it shows you the date, time, location. Oh, it was a free event. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, see, it's sold out. Sorry. Um, so there are great events that are taking place on here that this one's also, I believe, at Salon 22. There is, I know, one tonight at the New Society for um, tech. You can do all sorts of searches on here, whatever you're interested in will come up and you can set, certainly you can set reminders or get emailed based on different opportunities that you're interested in, in the New Orleans area. So a lot of these are going to be in person. You can, uh, you know, if you only want to attend free events, if you only want to attend in-person events, of course, there's stuff online, but there's also a lot of events that are taking place here in New Orleans um, that are free, they're networking. So set up filters, set up different um, types. This is, this is happening. Tonight, I also saw this on LinkedIn. So if you don't want to be on LinkedIn, Eventbrite is great. A lot of the events that I see on LinkedIn are also on here. This is tonight at New Society on St. Charles, meet and greet, presentation and demo, and networking. It's two hours. You can read about the event. There is so much going on in this city and you just never know who you're going to meet at these events. And like I said, even if you're not planning in, on staying in New Orleans, when you graduate from Tulane, you never know who you're going to meet, who has a cousin who started a company in Tampa and you're moving to Tampa. There are, and everyone at a networking event is there to network. Um, if you've never been to a networking event, I go to a lot of these events. I'm happy to go with you if you don't want to go alone or ask a friend to go with you. It can be a little bit uncomfortable if you're there by yourself, if you're not as outgoing. But if you feel comfortable going, a lot of these events, you'll be surprised. Everyone's there for the same reason. So there's a lot of people there who don't know anyone. And that's the point. If the point is to meet people and make a connection. And I promise you, whatever you attend, you're going to learn at least one new thing, which is great. In addition to Eventbrite, another way to find out about events is on Meetup, very similar to Eventbrite. There are a lot of organizations on here. I did um, New Orleans, but you can deep dive into career and business. You can deep dive into all different types of categories on here. Technology, this is supposed to be a great event, this Agile NOLA event. And these websites are amazing and they're free. And all these events are taking place here in New Orleans. Another awesome opportunity that we have here at Tulane is 
for professional development. Our alumni department here at Tulane hosts really great professional development series. If you get my weekly emails, I often include information about these. Next week, um, there is a Tulane alum who is walking everyone through how he used his Tulane network to start his own successful company which I signed up to attend. It should be really interesting. Most people who do volunteer to speak at these Tulane alumni events are open to connecting with people in the community, connecting on LinkedIn, giving advice. That's why they're here. They want to tell you all their story and connect and maybe help someone who is trying to start their own company or is interested in the same industry. And the alumni department has been hosting some virtual networking events. So keep an eye on the Tulane Alumni Professional Development Series. If you're not ready to go to something in person, you can always attend one of these virtual events, which I find to be always informational. And if you miss one of the events, they do have a YouTube page with where they'll put the event, a link to the recording of all the events that they've had. So if you have a class during that time or have to miss it, you can always go search the, our Tulane alumni page for their YouTube videos and they will all be uploaded on there definitely within a, you know, probably a few days of the event. One other um, great thing about Tulane is our student organizations. I often speak at student org meetings. We have um, a student organization fair in the fall and in the spring where you can go and meet people who are running the student organizations, meet them in person, learn a little bit more about the student organizations. And often the student organization meetings have a speaker and they'll have, sometimes I speak, sometimes they have an alumni speak, sometimes they have someone from um, the area, like I said, who is hosting, um, who wants to come talk to students about what they do. I just looked up ICMA. I've spoken at their student org a few times. I know they have a few events coming up and I'm gonna email everyone about those. You can even go to a student organization meeting without being in this, a lot of them will let you come to the one of the meetings just to see what it's like and you don't have to join yet. But on WaveSync, you can see all of the different types of events that are going on. If you want to attend, join, just go listen and see what's happening. You might meet another student at this event and you all might hit it off and then go network at an event that's off campus in New Orleans. So I encourage you all to network on campus with professors, classmates, join a student organization. And then if you are curious about what is going on in the New Orleans community, there is so much in all different industries for opportunities for networking within New Orleans. And if you have questions about it, certainly let me know and I'll try and see if there are organizations in the area with that you could attend um, a networking event. Like I said, I'm happy to go with you. I think it's fun. You always meet great people who are interesting and you learn from. 
I wanted to give you all, in addition to the tip of if you're going to an event and if you're going to see someone speak, you can always do a little bit of research about them online before you go to an event. People will be impressed that you you know stuff about them. Um, I used ChatGPT to find out, um, just think about conversation starters. If you are going to a networking event, what type of questions can you meet someone who you just met to try to find out about, you know, of course you're going to ask them, well, where do you work and what do you do? But you can do deeper dives into how'd you find out about this event? Maybe they'll tell you, oh, I'm on Eventbrite and I get emails about these types of events. Or you'll find out about another way to find out about local networking events People love to talk about what they're working on, if they have anything, projects that are exciting that are coming up in the pipeline. And, you know, it's great to ask people questions and to deep dive into what they're doing. And it's nice to have some questions prepared if you are going to a networking event and you don't want to feel like maybe you're stuck in a conversation, you can think about these questions. You can put them in your notes and your phone and reference them and connect with people. And there's lots of questions. Um, you know, a quick Google search can give you networking questions. I use ChatGPT and, you know, we talked about using social media for networking, mostly LinkedIn is your professional go-to. Um, you can engage with content on LinkedIn. You can create your own content, direct outreach, meaning like we talked about messaging people who went to Tulane, who are in your industry, asking them if they, you can shadow them, if you, if they're interested in Zooming with you. If you can ask them a few questions, you know, I reach out to people on LinkedIn and not everyone writes me back. So we all have to be comfortable with not everyone is checking their LinkedIn account. Not everyone has notifications set up. Sometimes people are on vacation and they forget. It's not like email where um, you go back to your inbox and so you want to clean out your inbox. And so don't, it's okay. I mean, I think probably 50% of the people that I've reached out to write me back and the other 50% don't, but that's their prerogative or they're not super active on LinkedIn. And like I showed you before, it's, it's just a good way to kind of check someone's, if you go to someone's profile, you can see their activity. So I posted two hours ago and you can see that I'm active on here and I'll more than likely be someone who is responsive on LinkedIn. If you go to someone's profile and they haven't posted in ever or in five months, that might not be the best person to reach out to. So I do feel like looking at their activity is a good way to figure out if they're going to be active and responsive and open to maybe networking on LinkedIn. So these are some, some great ways to connect with people. It's always nice to follow up with people after you meet them at a networking event. Even if you connect with them, like I showed you all how to do the QR code in the search bar on your LinkedIn app. Even if you connect with someone on LinkedIn instantly at a networking event, you could always send them a message the next day and say, hey, it was so great to meet you last night. I really appreciated your advice on X, Y, and Z. I know you mentioned 
maybe some other networking events that you attend locally? Would you mind sharing the names of those groups? And um, so that can start a dialogue with someone. And I know I mentioned at the beginning of the call, the power of repetition. So if you see someone at a networking event, either on campus or off campus, and then they tell you about another event and you see them at the next event, there's so much power in showing them that you are keeping your word and you want to be involved and showing up and putting yourself in the room. And then eventually you see them at another event and another, and then you pretty much automatically become friends because you're networking within the same industry, you have the same interests, you've connected on LinkedIn, you're attending the same events, and then you feel like you know them. And they can they can introduce you to other people. So maintaining regular contact with your professional um, network is important. You know, you can be proactive and let them know about an upcoming event that you learned about. Um, you know, people loved if you listen to a podcast or read a book recently that you think uh, is pertinent to your industry, they might want to hear about it. So always have something to offer and express gratitude. Thank them if they give you any advice, if they suggest other networking events to attend or tell you about an upcoming conference that they think you might be interested in. It's always nice to hear from people that you appreciated that you their advice and or you attended an event that they recommended. Maybe they couldn't attend, but you learned something there. You could share that information with them. Networking is definitely something that can get you internships, it can get you a permanent job. And with LinkedIn, you can continue to build your professional network your entire career. And so recently, um, I attended a networking event at New Society. There was a Tulane student was there with me. And we heard a gentleman from Google who lives in New Orleans speak at the event. And we went up and we introduced ourselves to him and he was so excited. And he said, I love working with students. I'm actually involved with Tulane. Here's my email, follow up with me. And the student emailed him. And so they're in contact. Well, the student found out that the same person was gonna be speaking at New Orleans Entrepreneur Week last week. And the student had class that was really ended uh, like 15 minutes before this guy was going to speak. So he hustled from Tulane down to uh, the warehouse district to New Orleans Entrepreneur Week, saw the end of this guy's talk, and then reintroduced himself at um, afterwards, went and spoke with him. And he remembered the student. He's like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much for coming. And People locally are so impressed when Tulane students get out into the community and are recognizing their efforts and reintroducing themselves and putting themselves in the room. So I was at, attended both events and I just, it was so exciting because the connections are working and it just, it was just so obvious that this guy who works at Google who lives in New Orleans was really touched that this Tulane student has been committed to following him, listening to him speak, and following up with him via email. So there, there's that's just a little bit of proof that it can work. I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it work, and this just happened last week. And one more thing that I think is important that you can do that can uh, elevate your career without you even thinking about it is to volunteer. And locally, we have a lot of great organizations. I put some of them, this is on the career services portal that I created. 
and there are opportunities also on WaveSync for you to volunteer locally. It's something to add to your resume, something that if you get, I just signed up to volunteer for Son of a Saint, and I'm really excited about it. And I'm looking forward to meeting people there and, you know, meeting the kids that they work with. And it's just a great way to connect with people in New Orleans. I'm not saying you have to join Son of a Saint. You can join any um, or, you know, work with any nonprofit here. I also work with Dress for Success and put it on your resume and it can be a connection piece in an interview and or you could meet someone at a volunteer event who could help connect you to a job. And so there's a lot of power in volunteering um, for yourself, for your mental health, but also, you know, it's great to give back to the community, but it's also an opportunity to network. And it's something that really elevates your resume and shows people that you're interested in the New Orleans community. And like I said, other ways to check are on Tulane's WaveSync. So you can volunteer with other students or you can head out into the community on your own and meet people. And these are just a few that I put on here that I know about that I think are great organizations. I'm certain there, there are more. And if you have more ideas, please let me know. But sometimes people think of volunteering as just volunteering, but you never know who else is going to be volunteering with you, who works at the volunteer organization, who might be interested in helping you in your career. And so that is what I have to share about networking. It, it can be fun. I think it's a great opportunity um, to get out into the community and to also work with um, people. You know, I think it's great to, to connect with people at Tulane, but also get out into the community in New Orleans. I'll follow up with this email with all the things, with this webinar, with all the things that we discussed. And if you all ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on any career related topics. So thank you all for joining and I hope to see you all. I'm hosting a webinar next month on acing your interview and I am looking forward to it. So I hope to see you all then. Have a good spring break. Thanks.